it's Vera here, London-based, nature-inspired abstract artist. Welcome to my art studio, the real art studio. I wanted to show you a bit of a sneak peek behind closed doors. Um, a few days ago, I did a studio, I did a video of my studio introducing some of my most giftable artwork as part of my 12 days of the Art Lovers Christmas Challenge. Um, and I had loads of compliments about my artwork and the way that my studio looked, and even me. Um, you know, I made an effort, <laughs> put on some bright lipstick, put on some earrings, that type of thing. But then it made me think that actually, as much as that video was sort of the polished version of what my studio looks like, it's actually a bit different than what the reality is. The reality of being a full-time artist means that oftentimes you're dirty, um, your studio's dirty. When people come to the open studios, they often see basically a tidy version of a small gallery. And the reality is quite, quite different. So I wanted to just give you a little peek behind closed doors to see what it really looks like. So you're kind of missing some of the mess that I have on this side, um, and perhaps below the table, but just to walk you through some of the elements. So normally, when I'm working on new work, such as now, uh, I have loads of my work covered up behind plastic. Um, that's because I'm quite sort of free with the way I paint, and oftentimes I do get, end up getting splatters everywhere. And whatever I do, I want to make sure that I'm not actually damaging any existing and final pieces by creating some new work. So lots of the work that I think is within kind of the splatter <laughs> possibility area is covered up. Um, I also work loads with testers or experiments. Um, so basically these three sort of small pieces behind me with the pink, those are my, my current testers. Uh, loads of the work that I do is really large scale. You can see this canvas behind me is very large scale. The piece that I'm about to continue working on, that's quite a huge piece. And frankly, both in terms of the, the time, the effort, the expense of doing something on a large canvas means that oftentimes before I commit to doing a next step on a large canvas, I end up doing smaller tester pieces to see how it looks and to basically to help visualize an idea to see if I like the net result um, before committing to the big canvas. So in this case, those three testers, uh, they're, they're not finished artworks by any means. They're literally just three panels that I used to experiment on and I paint again and again. So in this case, the experiment was to use some fluorescent paints, uh, which is a new idea for me, uh, but I'm really loving the kind of the boldness and the, the eye-catching colors of them. The other aspect um, in terms of the, just the studio itself is me. <laughs> I look very, very dirty. <laughs> I have paint everywhere. Uh, you can see this. You can see this is sort of my, my sweat, uh, my sweatpants. I'm fully covered in paint. It dries over time, but I am covered in paint. Um, oftentimes, when I end up going home, I realize that I've painted my hair, paint on my face. My fingernails are pretty much always covered with paint. That's just the way it goes. That's part of the fun. The other not so glamorous aspect is the storage. You can see that um, not glamorous cardboard box. That's basically full of small canvases. Uh, the reality of the art studio is, is as much as it's a place where you create and you keep final artwork, it's also a place where you store materials. It's just a very functional type of space. Also, I've got my trusty coffee here. Um, we're very lucky to have a coffee van that comes around every few hours. And I have tea. The kettle is pretty much always on in the studio. Um, I know some people say, are you a coffee or tea person? I'm both, depending on the mood. The other thing I wanted to show you is also just some of my sort of tools of the trade, specifically for the canvas work that I'm doing right now. So I've got loads of paint brushes, small, large, medium. And that helps me so that while I'm in the middle of things, I don't need to clean brushes or change sizes. It's just, um, they're ready to go and use as much as I want. And also in this case, I have some of the kind of fluorescent paints that I'm starting to work with. And last but not least is headphones. I pretty much always listen to music when I'm painting. Um, I'm one of these people who's just really just loves music and inspired by music. I tend to listen to songs on repeat. So a few times, it's almost like an act of meditation when I paint. You know, I'll just go into a zone for a few hours, listening to one specific song over and over and over again. And at some point I'll kind of wake up and it'll be five hours later and it's dark outside. Um, in terms of the music, it just really depends, you know, what mood I'm in, 
what mood the painting is. Uh, currently, I'm slightly obsessed with The National. It's a band that my husband introduced to me um, a while ago, so I'm repeating one of their songs in specific that I find really speaks to me. So that's where we are. Um, thank you so much for joining me on this sort of behind the scenes studio, and I hope you find it interesting to see a bit more of the real life um, of an artist. Thank you so much for joining me and see you next time. Bye.